Okay, so now we've got our cap screw built. Let's actually go and make this table. Actually, let's put some material on it too to make it look better. So I'm just going to edit material and let's see what we've got here. What's a good material for screw? Let's do chrome stainless steel because it should look pretty. Apply, we'll get rid of it. Notice it changed color because it went, oh, it's a steel now and not a regular part. So it gave it the color kind of a steely color. Okay, so what we want to do is I'm going to want to build this design table. So I'm going to come up here to annotations, right click and go show feature dimensions. And that will show me all the dimensions that we've used to build this. And now what I'm doing is I'm kind of getting them out of the way because I want to, to see what I want to be able to easily get them. Okay, and I think that's all of them. So now I can easily see those are all the dimensions that we use to grab. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'm actually missing one, so I'm going to just put this to wireframe. Actually, let's make it fully hidden. So there is my depth for that one, and there is my half inch for that. Okay, so now I can see all the dimensions. And I want to be able to do this because I do want to be able to, to grab them without too much of a problem. And so from here, we're going to make our design tape. We're going to go up here to go to insert. And so now that we're at insert, we can sit there and we can go down to design table, which will be table. We have all these different ones, build us materials and whatnot, but we want the design table. And now we've come up with this window that's going to allow us to start playing around with things. Now, if we had an Excel file, we could make it from a file, but we're just going to auto create it right here. Uh, we don't want it to allow model edits that will change anything. And then we're going to clear all these because we're just going to build our own from scratch. And so once we get done there, we'll hit OK. It should bring up the Excel interface. And there we go. So it brings up a Excel interface and it brings up all these dimensions that we've used. And we're gonna we're gonna use them all. So I'm just gonna highlight them all and say okay. And we're gonna it creates our table for us. And you can see everything's already oop. Hmm. The, uh, apparently the arrows do not work for that, but that is fine. So now we're going to be able to populate all of our different Excel, all of our different Excel formulas, basically, because this is the design table for the cap screw. Uh, we are going to rename the default. We're going to call that part. Oops. I just want to edit that. Got to double click on it. And then we're just going to rename that part 101. And uh, we're going to end up making two other ones here. So we'll make part 102 and we'll make part 103. So we'll have th oh, 103. So we'll have three variations of this. Now this works exactly like Excel does because it is Excel. Okay. And we're going to add one more thing in here because we, oops, click on the big window. Uh oh shoot, my... Mm. I was trying to move it around to grab a dimension there, but um, I accidentally created the table. That's fine. I'll show you how to edit it from there. So let's go back over into configurations, under tables, you've got design table. Right click edit table. Okay, let's go back to what I was trying to do, is I want to take this H2, I want to actually bring that dimension in because that's the length of my threads. So notice I clicked on it, it automatically filled it in, and it goes, okay, that's one. So that's great. That makes it really easy to add other dimensions that we that we want. So now let's, let's make part 102 and 103. This is also another reason why you might want to rename dimensions at some point, but that's okay for what we got. So let's do 0 0.75 and 1. Now notice it just showed it as 0 0.8. It is actually 0.75, but it tries to squish it all together. So we'll go 2 and 3, and 1.125, and 1 1.5, 0 0.75, and 1, 0 0.625, 0 0.75, 
and 0 0.37, 0 0.495, and then finally one and a half and two. Okay, now we are good. We can click out of that. It saves the table. Uh, let's see. Didn't like something there. Let's go back and check that one. Didn't it like? So we've got that at two. That should be fine. What what problem did it say it had? Cosmetic thread is invalid. The value must be between 0.4 and one and a half. Let's go back and see. Did I did we make a mistake when we did that cosmetic thread? Is that what's causing the problem? Four eight dimension an inch blind. Hmm. Add table one more time. I'm not sure why it doesn't like that. Because that should be fine because the boss extrude is is up to two. That's one and a half, and that's two. Okay, well, we'll just figure it out later. We'll s figure out what the error is. Oh, D1. D1 Cosmic Thread 1. Well, this is fun. Live time fixing this. Those are all the dimensions that we should have for that. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to figure out what I did, what's wrong, and then explain it. So I'm not sure what happened there. I actually just deleted the thread and reinserted it and um, fixed the table, and it's, it's all working fine now. It's kind of odd. But now that I've got this, I can go, here's part 101. This is the one that I made. And here's part 102. Let's rebuild that. You see it got bigger and everything. And here's part one of three. So they're all basically the same except different sizes. So that's that's all fine and good. And so you'll notice though that the threads looked a little bit kind of weird because they're all the exact same size. So we can sit there and play around with that and make another make another slight adjustment to what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with that minor diameter because we didn't touch that. So I want to go to insert and we're going to insert an equation. Sorry, not insert tools. Tools into equations. And so now we're going to add an equation here based on this guy right here, that cosmetic threads number. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go that that's going to be equal to, we're going to make it 80% of of our sketch of the actual major thread. So we'll do 80% and we're going to multiply that by this guy right here. And then we'll hit OK. And so now we've got that set up as an equation and we will rebuild that. And it's not rebuilding. Oh no! What has happened? Okay, so we got that at a half inch there. And I think I'm just going to say that the computer is giving me problems because I am doing it over the over the internet. But as I go to 102, you can see everything there. Our uh, minor diameter looks a little bit more reasonable. Okay, so we've built the part, and we've got... Let me get rid of these. I don't want to see the annotations anymore. We've built the part, and we've got it set up to where we can change it. And so there's our version 2, and we can change it. Here's, like, there's our version 3. It pops up. So we've got all that stuff there. So now let's make... We're going to make a drawing of it and actually put the the part and the design table on the drawing. 